Hey Junior Rangers, welcome back to the Ranger Zach Show. Today we're going to be learning all about something that you can find just about anywhere and can't help but pick up and let roll around your hand. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? That's right! Today we're going to be learning all about our good friend, the roly-poly. Ever wanna know what makes a tree grow tall? A white turtle wears a shell on its back. You get your hiking boots and a walking stick. Come along with Ranger Zach. Come along with Ranger Zach. It's the Ranger Zach Show. Roly-polies have picked up a lot of nicknames over the years, like wood lice, wood shrimp, doodle bug, cheesy bug, pill bug, and potato bug. And with silly names like these, it's no wonder why their most common name is just the plain old Roly-poly. And I bet you can guess just how they got this nickname. Do you see these hard overlapping plates? These are what make up the Roly-poly's exoskeleton, or outside skeleton. These plates act like a suit of armor to protect its soft body parts from predators. And they use this armor by rolling themselves up into a tiny ball. This special adaptation is called conglobation. It's a conglobation adaptation. When a roly-poly feels like it may be under attack, it rolls itself into a ball so that the only thing exposed is its hard outer exoskeleton making it very difficult for predators to attack. This special trick is how our little friend here got its most common name, the roly-poly. Rollin', 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 keep those polies rollin'. Rollin', 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 you give it a try. Okay, Junior Rangers, are you ready for the roly-poly races? Yeah. The game is simple. You have to get from the starting line to the finish line as fast as possible while only rolling. Are you ready? On your marks. Get set, roll! Now here's something I bet you didn't know about roly-polies. Even though some people call them pill bugs, potato bugs, or doodle bugs, they're actually not bugs at all. In fact, they're crustaceans. Crustaceans are animals with a hard exoskeleton, antennae, and gills. Can you think of any other crustaceans? I'll give you a hint. Because they have gills, most crustaceans live in the water. That's right, if you're thinking of lobsters, crabs, and shrimp, those are all crustaceans. And in fact, roly-polies are more closely related to lobsters than they are any other insect. Here's the story. Roly-polies used to use their gills to breathe underwater like their crustacean cousins. But as time went on and roly-polies evolved, their gills adapted to allow them to breathe on land 
and they've been living under logs ever since. How cool is that? Are you ready for your Rangers Act fun fact? Good, here it is. Just like many other crustaceans, roly polies are edible. And that's how they got their nickname, wood shrimp. I won't be eating a plate full of roly polies anytime soon, but I'll definitely get down with their crunchy crustacean cousins. While roly-polies still use their gills to breathe on land, their gills still need to stay nice and damp to allow them to do this. This is why they prefer to live in moist environments. We all know that roly-polies like to live under old logs, but can you think of other damp environments that roly-polies may like to hang out in? What I love about roly polies is you can find them just about anywhere with a little bit of moisture, like under old flower pots, paver stones, rocks, and leaves. This makes looking for roly polies the perfect backyard safari. Let's learn a little bit more about the roly-poly's body. Each roly-poly has two antennae, which help them feel, smell, and taste the world around them. And unlike insects, which have six legs, roly-polies have 14. Their exoskeleton is usually gray or brown in color, but some roly-polies that you find may have colored markings, like this one. Because their exoskeleton doesn't grow like normal bones, as roly-polies get bigger, they have to shed their exoskeleton and grow a bigger one underneath. This is a process called molting. Baby roly-polies are born white and with only 12 legs, but they grow their last two legs after their first time molting. Oh, look at you, all grown up. Roly-polies may be little, but they're big helpers to the environment. They're what we call decomposers, which means they eat decaying organic matter. When they eat, it helps reintroduce nutrients back into the soil, which all plants and trees need to grow. Let's head back to the ranger station and wrap things up. Hey, Junior Rangers, welcome back to the ranger station. Did you have fun learning about roly-polies with me today? They really are fascinating little creatures. Now, before we say goodbye, we have to do one of my favorite parts of the show, the Ranger Roundup. This week's question was sent in by Isla. Hi, Ranger Zach. I was just wondering, why do snakes shed their skin? Bye! Well, Isla, that is a great question. Did you know that all animals shed their skin? And that means you too. You just don't shed it all at the same time like a snake does. Snakes and reptiles shed their skin for one simple reason. It doesn't fit anymore. 
You see, when a reptile grows, its outer layer of skin can't keep up, so they have to grow a new layer of skin underneath. When this layer of skin is ready, they shed their outer layer. Insects and crustaceans do this too when they shed their exoskeleton, and that's called molting. I hope this answered your question. Now let's do the Junior Ranger Challenge. This week's Junior Ranger Challenge is to go out on your very own backyard safari. Look under flower pots, rocks, logs, and leaves because this is where you're gonna find roly polies. But you can find plenty of other really interesting creatures hiding under there as well. Let me know what you find by tagging me in a picture at the Ranger Zach Show on Instagram. And you can be featured as one of our Junior Rangers of the Week. Don't forget, New episodes of the Ranger Zach Show come out every Monday, so please like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our very exciting adventures. And until next time, Junior Rangers, there's a world of adventure right outside your door, so get out there and go explore. This is Ranger Zach, over and out.